This movie describes the ability to modify doors while at the assembly editor level. We click on the help files. I'll be describing these three sections. Modify the door style and rail widths by door. Section the doors with the mid styles and mid rails by door. And modify door profiles by door. Let's take a look. For this example I'm going to place a base cabinet on the wall and we'll take that into the assembly editor level. In this situation I want to modify one of the doors. Since I have a pair door I'm going to split so that I have two separate doors. Now if I right click on this door, go to properties, the first thing you will notice is the ability to take off the outside edge profiles from this door. You can select which edges you want to remove. Let me change this door from a slab to a square raised panel and apply some edges. You can see that the door has changed and if we go into the 3D view you can see that you have the 3 8 lip as the outside edge profile. If for any reason I want to delete that I simply have to come here, take it off of the edges that I no longer want it to appear. Go back to 3D and you can see that the profiles are now gone. Now let's get into the sectioning. If I click on section door, you'll notice that a door section editor screen appears. Over on the left you have the ability to change the profiles. You also have the ability to change the size of the styles and rails. You have two ways to change the size of the styles and rails. You can click on the left and enter a value or you can simply click on the part itself and enter a value. You also have the ability to miter the corner. If I select yes here, as you can see the corners are mitered. Let's do some editing. I'm going to click on the bottom rail and I'm going to change that to 4 inches. And you can see it, it, it took the change. Now I'm also going to change the left style to 3 inches. At the same time I want to section this door. If I click on the middle section I'm going to split it once horizontally. On the top I've decided that I no longer want a raised panel there but instead I want a piece of glass. I can make this into glass. I click OK and let's go to the 3D view. As you can see this door has been completely adjusted. The larger bottom rail, the wider style, raised panel on the bottom, and a piece of glass on the top. One more feature to show. If we reveal the texture of the wood, in this situation I want the wood grain on the right hand door to be horizontal instead of vertical. We go back to the section editor this time we're going to click on the right hand door. I'm going to left click to select the door since it's still a slab door. Change the horizontal grain to yes. Back to 3D view one more time. And as you can see we now have horizontal grain for the slab door. This concludes the movie or how to modify doors while at the assembly editor level. For more information on how Cabinet Vision can help you become more efficient and profitable, please visit www.cabinetvision.com. Thank you for watching.